could take a composition like uh, Magic Park, where we have uh, a multiple of rhythms going on. Five, modu five rhythms to modulate through the song. In other words, in this music, instead of each beat being the same beat for each song, the rhythm and the melody are geared to go together so that the melody and rhythm lock in in such a way, in such a uh, homolotic way, uh, that it allows for it to to become a separate entity and like an, uh, uh, an atom or anything else in the environment, it, it allows for it to sustain, sustain itself. Uh, in, in Magic Park, we start off with one rhythm, uh, which is more or less a march type rhythm, but not a march in the sense of marching in like high school bands and so forth, but more uh, of a, a, a straight 4-4 four, four on the floor and um, a second, what's called a second line rhythm, New Orleans type rhythm, on the snare drum, uh, with the fast sixteenths going on the hi hat. So this sets up the intro to get into uh, to go to get into the melody, which changed all in the middle of the melody, going to the bridge, using the samba beat. Uh, the samba, but the mark, the 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 second line rhythm is still going, but using the samba as opposed to a four four beat on the floor with it. Uh, and then it, it goes back to the to to what would be called the A section of the melody and repeats that, and then to the improvised section. And the improvised section it goes into a funk rhythm, which is like boom, 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 uh, boom, right? And then uh, once that's set up, and and, and the, the person who is soloing in this case, uh, uh, the wonderful Jeff Lee Johnson, is playing a, a fantastic solo. Uh, but what's going on really is that uh, he and I are, are basically. Uh, 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 looking for this connection that we know is there, you know, but for, from the connection, knowing this is this, this, all right, this is the rhythm that's going to set it up. But what what rhythm is it going to take us to? This we haven't figured out. This we don't know. We just he's he's pulling one way and I'm pulling the other, and and the pull of the two is making the third happen. So what it gets down to, we realize and lock in is I, I, I just sit right in his ass. I sit boom, 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 and the whole thing just blooms. He goes totally into a, a, a psychedelic hillbilly solo that's outrageous. And uh, but in the meantime, basically what has happened is a, a four changes of rhythm have occurred, you know, and then he goes into a double rhythm on the bass drum, which is a, 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 another set chord. And it goes back to the original rhythm, which is a six rhythm. Right? Six different rhythmic patterns, but they fit with the melody as opposed to having one pattern. If you listen to disco or you listen to rock, basically most of the music is designed around a certain beat, which is that same beat that's carried on, whether it's a slow song or a fast song. And in jazz, you have uh, the jazz rhythm, ching, 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 ching. Uh, and uh, which is also just coming out of a, uh, an African rhythm. It was uh, the wonderful Kenny Clark who who actually synthesized and harnessed that particular sound, um, uh, being a native of, of Pittsburgh, but act, actually an Afro-American. He, he just actually called on his ancestral spirits and was able to pick that up. And uh, and, and you can hear it in African music, the uh, playing of the cowbells, ting to ding. But that pattern fits very well with what was called traditional jazz. But this is not the time period of traditional jazz. Uh, this is a time period of <laughs> Hellonomics or whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, but it's a time period of change. Something is definitely going on. Not only on, uh, uh, it's going on in the whole universe, but and it's reflected here. But and it's reflected here in the negative energy that's being expounded. And I'm just saying, look, you, we don't have to all have to go for that. Here's some music. Here's a, a, a way of life that actually t talks to you on a religious level. Uh, that comes from your own life itself. So within this type of music, you have melody and you have rhythm. Rhythm is a thing that permeates and makes this whole environment or genre of music comes about. It is rhythm. And then the melody appears. And then we improvise off of these melodies. Improvise, imp what I mean by, imp by improvisation, uh, basically, is, th is this. Uh, 
if you if uh, you remember when you were kids and you played uh, 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 you played games, uh, whether it was uh, uh, hide and seek, uh, 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 skip rope, or uh, or. Uh, uh, so the thing where you hop, uh, skip and hot scotch and all these things. It was a camaraderie there that was the beauty and joy of doing it. It developed, it was, it was, it was the, the experience, uh, the, the enjoyment of being together and experiencing something together. Well, these things actually happen. Uh, people say, a lot of people say it's like magic, but what it is is the same thing. We're just coming together as human beings and saying, look, we're communicating and talking on this other, other level about the melody we just got through playing. Whatever that melody was, that's what we were talking about. We were improvising on it, you know. Uh, if it's a song like, uh, um, uh, Well, Well, Well is on this new album, uh, and what term, what the title of it will be on the album might be a different story. Um, but in, the, in this particular melody, uh, one only one has to do is, is hum the rhythmic melodic phrase, and, and, and basically that's what I do in a drum solo. It's just play the, uh, the, the melodic phrasing of the, of the song itself. As long as the rhythm is there, you can do this with the drums. You can do this with rhythm, and, it, and, and to me it makes perfect sense. And this is what this is what my life is about, and what I do. And this reason why I say rhythms are the key for us to get within us inside of ourselves. I mean, we can go for all these other things that are going on in the environment, all these other, I mean, we know that uh, religious organizations have basically all fallen apart, all those things we did believe in have, uh, basically we know are like social security at this point. So how, to, how do we really live with ourselves in this time period? Well, we have to go within ourselves and understand the inner workings of ourselves as opposed to being affected by the bullshit that's outside ourselves, which means TV and the rest of the stuff. So the thing to do, I'm saying, is we can all use these things, which you're hearing free for us. Learn how to use rhythms and learn how to breathe. Get an instrument so that it, it can allow you to do a different breathing. That way you can go inside of yourself. And once one gets inside of himself, one can conduct or infect the environment one's living in on a much higher level. And one can feel much better about oneself because one doesn't have to depend or, or rely on anything outside of the self. Good.